Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. How do I import a CSV file into a data table? We're going to go and jump right into this. We have a data table that we want to use, and we want to get that data from another external source. Let's say Excel or Google Docs in my example here. Doing a spreadsheet inside of an external program allows us much easier data manipulation and editing, allows other people to work with it externally. And then once we pull it into Unreal Engine in a data table format, it's all nicely formatted and set up for us. So let's go and look at this. First thing we're going to do is here is the data table spreadsheet I plan on using. We have a column with some numbers in it, and then we have a column with skill ID, name, skill image, and then some values. Now if I was to just go file, download as, and as a CSV, comma separated values, and save this out, I'm going to go ahead and get my file. Now for now, I'm going to go ahead and rename this to skills. The file itself will import as the name that you give it. So in my case, I want it to be called skills because it'll make it easier. Now if I drag it and drop it, we're going to get a prompt. It wants to import it, and it's going to ask us what it wants to import it as. So we're going to import it as a data table, and then we need to choose a data table row type. So if you have created a data table before, this will be familiar because you now need to choose the structure that it matches. And this is important. Well, right now we don't have a structure. So it's going to give us an error because I canceled it. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a structure. And we want our structure to match the skills in terms of the type we want and then the name. So we'll do skills struct and we'll open it up. Now, if we look at the file, which I have right here, we'll notice there's four columns, blank, ID, name, and image. This blank column is our row name column. We don't need to name it. It's just our name of each row. And this is the value for skill ID, value for skill name, and value for skill image. So we need ID, name, and image. Let's go ahead and add three variables. So we're going to do skill ID. and. It's so annoying how L's and I's look the same. Skill ID, skill name, and then skill image. And we should probably spell image right. And then we want to make sure they are the correct types. My ID is going to be an integer. If I can find it, there we go. My name is going to be a string. And my image is actually going to be a texture. This is going to be the image that I'm going to show for my icon. So it's going to be a texture 2D. Now, because a texture 2D can be selected from here, it's going to work properly for what we want. Some items don't. Some items do. Images, sounds, sound cues, sound waves, things like that will work perfectly fine if we set the values in our CSV file and bring it in. And I'll show you that here. So now we have our structure set up. Let's go ahead and drag our skill set back in. Set up as a data table with our skills structure and hit OK. Here's our skills file. You'll notice compared to the other ones, at the bottom we now have a source file. It references the original file. We'll open it up and we'll see our data all populated into our data table. And you might notice something pretty cool. Our images are actually set up. We actually have some of these with images. I even notice a few things here. It actually tells us where they're at in our folder structure and it's all set up properly. Now how that works on the CSV file side is it's gonna take the name that the engine sees this content type as. So if this was a sound file, it would be the name of the sound file. Sound cue, same thing. Image, name of the image. So you'd look here, I have fire and I have ice. If we go back into Unreal Engine, we open it up, you'll notice I have ice and I have fire. Those are actually two images, two textures inside my system. They don't have to be in the same folder where your data table is. You'll notice fire is in the same folder, but ice is actually up one. Now, if we wanted to, let's go ahead and go back to here. We have one called sword slash, sword underscore slash. If I was to go into my engine content, let's grab another texture for that. Let's go with the arrow. We're going to use this arrow as a image, basically. We'll go into our library. We're going to rename this to sword slash. And now we have an image for sword slash. If I go back to my data table and I pull up my data table, we go to my skills data table. And we look at it, well, it didn't update. This one probably should have sword slash. Let's see. Yeah, these two should have sword slashes, but they don't. 
This data is only populated when we import or re-import. And this is where the advantage comes in with the CSV file. You notice we have 13 skills. Let's say we've gone in and now we're gonna add a new one. So we're gonna put this in as our row name 14. My ID is gonna be 14. This skill name is gonna be uh, Devastate, which I'm pretty sure it's spelled wrong. State, yeah, I'll go with that. Devastate and the icon, oh, well, you know, we'll use sword slash. There's our icon for it. I'll go ahead and export it out again. So we'll just save it again. And it's gonna go ahead and save it out. I need to make sure I'm using the proper one. Depending on how you have it set up, you might not have to rename it. Google Docs likes to rename it with the name and the sheet. So I just went ahead and renamed it. All that matters is it's the same. If I go into here, sorry, let's go in here first. You'll notice we don't have a 14. We don't have 13. We don't have anything. We have nothing in there. We'll go back into here. We'll notice again, it points to a file, source file. I'll go into re-import. Re-import successful. We'll open it up and now we'll see a few things. We have a 14, it's all set up properly, and we'll now see our new image is showing properly for the sword slash. That's how you would import a CSV file. That is how you would update the CSV file and re-import it, and that's how you would map things. You can map most things that you can put inside of a data structure, a data table, that are editable. So sound, sound cues, um, images, things like that. And remember, it just maps it to the name itself. If the name's not correct, it's not going to work properly. So to wrap that up, in terms of how this works, our first column is going to be our row name. Then we have any other columns that you want data for. This has to be your name of the property field. Then any values that go inside of them. When you're done, go ahead and just save it. You bring it into Unreal Engine. It's going to ask you to import as a data table pick the structure it maps with, and then you get your nice, happy, updatable data table. And that's it. That's going to wrap up. How do I import a CSV file into Unreal Engine?